Welcome to What Was He Thinking? My name is A.B. Bracewell. Today I'm going to be your personal tour guide through a man's psyche. Take this journey as we explore why a man thinks the way he thinks. Why a man acts the way he acts. And why a man feels the way he feels. No question is off limits, and no topic is too hard. By the end of the show, you have a better understanding and a better insight of who we are as men. Welcome to What Was He Thinking? Today we're going to be tackling one of the biggest questions that I was asked. Um, for the past year, I've been gathering questions, and, and everyone that's sending the question will send some version of this. Why do men cheat? Now, this is this is a question I couldn't answer on my own, so of course I had to bring in my friends, bring in some help to get a different perspective, different views. Um, and I don't even know if we're gonna have to have the answer, but we're gonna try our best. Starting from my left is my friend Marquise <laughs> Jameson. He is the owner, the CEO, the founder of MJ Production. If you have a wedding going on, a bar mitzvah, a birthday party, a sweet 16, this the brother you want to see to get your uh, your memories caught. What's the slogan? What's the slogan? Never let one moment be forgotten. Never let, I always love that. Never let one moment be forgotten. My boy Marquise Jameson, he's the uh, one of the single brothers on the panel today, um, along with myself. Single and out there in these streets. So I'm sure he's going to have a lot for us today. <laughs> Right next to Marquise is my, my brother Maurice Rush. He's also the founder and the organizer, the CEO of My Brother, My Brother um, Foundation has built to build up men and brothers and, and, and boys and bring encouragement to our community. Um, Maurice, in a relationship for about a year now, right? About a year? Yeah. About a year? No cheating, though. No cheating. Make that clear. Make that clear. Put that out there. Put that out there. Yeah. <laughs> he's doing some great work with men and in the community. Uh, just um, at the end of this, he's going to give you your, his social media handle so you can look him up. And right next to uh, Maurice is my, my brother. My brother. <laughs> Kevin Williams. Kevin Williams is the married man on the panel. Today. Yes. Been married for 10 years. I repeat that. The faithfully married man. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> happily married man on the panel. The panel father of two. Mm -hmm. um, me and Kev go back way, way back to uh, maybe 19, 20 years old. And some of you went to school yeah. together, ran around together, played <laughs> ball together, had fun together. So welcome my panel. And um, let's get right into it. Let's get right into it. So the first question, right off the bat, why do men cheat? Um, I mean, sure. It's funny how everybody was looking at you <laughs> right, when right. we asked the question. Man. Well, yeah, I know he can't answer. <laughs> he can't answer that first because he's married. <laughs> but no, nah, um, I think it stems a lot from unhappiness. Um, and I think that... For whatever reason, there's this stigma that like we well, men, not we, but men cheat uh, because like the girl looks good or because they're you know horny or they just want to do it. But I think a lot of it really stems from like a place of unhappiness um, with the current situation. Um, it could be not being heard. It could be that the woman that you're with isn't doing whatever it is that you need and. Either you try to voice it and it's hit deaf ears, or you know you don't know how to express it, or you know whatever the case may be, and it's like eh, I'm just not happy, and I want to try to do something that I think may make me happy, and usually that person that a male is cheating with is providing something that you aren't getting from the person that you're cheating uh, on. Sometimes I think, um, I mean. Men, we just we just greedy. You know I'm saying like we just we want more. I mean, you can have the best woman at home giving you everything you want from A to Z, right but there. you you, <laughs> just, you just you just you just need to step out that door. Like you you need to you need you need to run out there. Like yeah. You want you want to go out there and, and see what you're missing. Um, I agree a lot with you know what you guys say, Marquise, with the the greed. Um, 
but I would say, you know, to add to it, I think a lot of it comes from selfishness, you know, um, the fact that you want, you know, you want it regardless of, you know, who it evolves and who it hurts, you want something that, and you're going to get it. So a lot of times I think that, uh, you know, I think that you try not to let the other person see. So you're, you're cheating and you're doing stuff in the dark so that they not, they do not get hurt. But it's never done to, it, I, I don't think that it's typically done from when I talk to people. I don't think it's typically done to hurt the other person. I don't think it's anything other than uh, a move that you make behind closed doors because you want, I think. Um, uh, I, you know, I think that you really, you really work against your, um, your natural instincts. I think that, uh, you know, monogamy is something that's social. That's, a, that's what we socially agree to do, you know. Um, I don't think that in nature, monogamy is what, you know, what it is. I think that, you know, when we, you know, we have the Bible, we have all these things that say monogamy is what we're going to do. So when you get into a relationship, this is not an excuse, because when you get in a relationship and you agree to be monogamous, then you should stand with, you stand, stand with that, you know, that, that thought. But I say that to say that, you know, our natural instincts is to procreate as, as, you know, as we are animals first. So we are looking to do that, but society's telling us not, and so we're putting, we're policing ourselves to not do it. So you work against your natural instincts a lot of the times by not cheating, which is, you know, again, you know, as you grow up, you know, a lot of people that grew up certain ways and they've seen certain things, they're able to, to do it, you know, easier. You know, um, I think that, you know, if, if, you, if you knew that the other person was going to find out, chances are the person wouldn't cheat because it's never about hurting the other person. It's more about, yo, I can do this, I can get what I want, and nobody get hurt. It turns into a victimless crime. So that's why when it comes, when the victim is in play, you know, that's when it, it, it gets murky. Um, I think a lot, of, a lot of times in, you know, society, you know, as a youth, you know, the youngest society and, you know, some of the music and some of the images that we see, you know, it's, it's not frowned upon to be a cheater or, or quote unquote womanizer or somebody that has multiple, like, it's not, it's not, hey, that's not the way to go, guys. It's not, we don't really get that, you know, in, you know, in the imaging that we see. So, you know, all of this, you're putting on a person to go against their natural instincts, go against what they see, you know, in their society. And, um, and you're putting all that on them to police themselves. So it, it, it sort of makes sense that it happens. And, you know, it's not that it's right or wrong. I'm not, you know, justifying it, you know, definitely, but, you know, I do see definitely lanes where it, it makes it more challenging to, to continue to stay 100 as opposed to doing something where you feel like, you know, you're not going to hurt nobody, you know. So, that, you know, that's my thoughts from, you know, you know, in talking to people. That's how I sort of see it because I never really see that it's about anything else other than that person. Like, it's not about, oh, what my wife is, is or what my wife isn't or what my girl is or what isn't. It's like, yo, I want to do this. You know, like, and if I do it, I can, you know, nobody's going to get hurt. I'm going to do it. So uh, that, that's my opinion on, on the, a lot of the, my opinion on the why. Just, just to piggyback off that point you made about the conditioning we have growing up, like nobody really teaches us or what we're taught about, you know, being monogamous or cheating. Like, you know, as guys, that's not something we we're really taught. That's not something that's celebrated mm -hmm. growing up especially in the neighborhoods we grew up in, um, the guys that had that one girl walking up and down the block holding hands, he probably was ridiculed or made fun of, like, sucker for love. Sucker for love, like, yep. you know, <laughs> Sucker for love, dude. But the guy that had multiple women was the ones that was championed. He mm -hmm. was the guy that was celebrated, the one that we looked up to. Um, so, so I could definitely relate and understand that point you made. And, you know, as I thought about this question for myself, um, why do men cheat? I really had to go back to times when I cheated, or the time when I cheated. Maybe time I'm gonna make it single. Black men don't cheat. Take that ass off. Black men don't cheat. Yeah, but I'm gonna, <laughs> <laughs> I had to think how I did it. Like think back then, and really, I I tried to think of reasons of you know what my girlfriend did or 
or what was going on during that time that, that pushed me to it? What was I missing? Was there some type of void? And, and at the end of the day, really, I was just immature at the time. Mm. I was immature. I wanted a relationship, but I can't say I was ready for a relationship because of, of what I did. Um, I cheated because I put myself in situations where I could, could be tempted and, you know, I was open to the temptation. I went looking for the temptations. Mm. And, and that that that's usually will lead you to, to step out, to cheat, or, or to be unfaithful. Um, so it's just putting myself in, I used to put myself in those situations. Or I, I wasn't, wasn't ready. Wasn't ready. So a lot of it had to do with maturity. And I could tell by the answers that you guys gave that you guys have hit a level of maturity where you can, like, look back now and mm-hmm. say okay this is why people cheat but but and it's not really an age thing it's a maturity thing mm-hmm. yeah, yeah so so even we can look back or we can look at other guys that we know are, are cheating and we could kind of say okay this is why it's happening um this is why they they're, they're doing what they do um so love the answers you guys gave but we're going to try to dig a little bit deeper into it um i got a question from a young lady mm-hmm. and she wanted specifics um, not not only on specifics on the, somebody you made a face not not that mm. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> not that kind of specific no, no. <laughs> different type of show right oh, man. <laughs> not that oh, type man. of specific but she, what she asked is <laughs> what goes through a man's head before he cheats mm. like what are we thinking what's mm. happening um whether it's something's going on in a relationship or whether it's just something going on in our heads, like what what what's going through our heads before we make the decision to say, all right, I'm gonna step out on my relationship. Are we gonna you want caught? that one, Marquise? Are we gonna get caught? You got it, I bro. I mean, that's that's probably the, the first thing we think about. Like, are we gonna are we gonna get caught? Now, is she gonna find out? Like, what can I do to get away with this? Like, how can I make this happen? Um, goes back we talked earlier about having two phones like it's so much that becomes involved uh with a male when you start cheating it's like it's, it's bad i ain't gonna tell on us but it's, it's a lot of stuff that we do um when we're cheating on our on our woman whether it's your wife or girlfriend or fiance whatever the case may be but i think what goes through our mind is that will we get caught like can we get away with this is this possible like i, I really want to see what this woman is about but i want my girl to find out i want my wife to find out like it's like will we i think the number one answer the, 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 is, you know, will we get caught? Mm. Like, yeah. like, like no, can, can no, I get away no, with no, this? Way to put it, huh? yeah, right. There's no other way. Like, a dog. will we get caught? That, yeah. that, that's what I'm. That's my thought. If I'm gonna be out here cheating on my girl and my wife, I'm like, will she find a out? Single brother. A single yeah, that's, brother. That's a single brother. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I, I, don't, I mean, the piggyback. I think what he's saying is true. But also, um, well, other things like, how's my alibi? Like the story I'm telling her. Like, is it believable? Like. You know, like, I mean, if, I, if I tell her I'm with a, I can't say you because you married. Mm-hmm. If I tell her I'm with a, I'm Mar- <laughs> I say I'm with Marquise, <laughs> like, she really going to believe, you know, that I'm out with Marquise when I'm here. Like, no then sometimes, you know, I'll go deeper. <laughs> <laughs> you, you should use the married guy. <laughs> 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 Might be a better better man. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you want to say you with the married um, guy. <laughs> sometimes, it's, I'm like saying, you know, is this worth it? You know, I, I've knowing some people who've asked that question, is this worth it? Is it worth losing what I've established? Um, am I really going to go through with this? Um, she better be worth it <laughs> if I'm going to go through with this. Um, I don't think you necessarily plan for getting caught if that's kind of, like, I feel like that's what the question's digging in, like, this cross your mind, like, if I get caught, what will happen? Because I don't really cross yeah. the mind. It's like, you don't think about that. Yeah, you think I'm definitely going to get away with this. And have I tied every loose knot, you know, or every loose string to possibly get away with this? Um, that would be my guess, of course. You know, I don't really have any experience with this in recent <laughs> years. Not in recent years, but. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I think, you know, you both guys are both saying similar, you know, similar things. Is, and it still comes back to, making sure that this person that you care about don't get hurt Mm -hmm. and y'all coming back to the same spot like hey i want to make sure i don't get caught i want to make sure my alibi is good it's coming back to the same spot Mm -hmm. and i think you know i i think like a lot of times it's you're not really thinking about the negative that can happen Mm -hmm. you're not are you thinking at all you know Mm -hmm. but i but i do think that you know 
as you switch it, you start thinking, like you said, is it worth it? What happens if she mm-hmm. finds out? And I think those can be used as more of deterrence. Mm-hmm. You know, like, yo, this, this isn't, this, like, it's not worth it. Like, even right. after, you're like, well, you know, why? Right. So I, I think that that is, that, like you're saying, that is the, the main thing. Like, yo, I can do this, and I can have a good time, and nobody will, nobody will get hurt. But as you start to change it, change the way you think, and as, you know, we, you know, I know we all have as we mature, like A.B. was saying, it's like there's consequences to our actions. And so um, I do think that I agree with both of you guys. That's generally what the thought process is going to be. How can I do this without disrupting my apple cart? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I once heard somebody say that you have to measure the worth of something by what you can lose. Um, and not always what it's the value because what you can lose is sometimes more valuable than what you, you actually get yeah like you, you you can possibly lose a great relationship or you can lose your family mm-hmm. you can lose your home you can lose you, you if you divorce you can lose a whole lot this does this one night or this whatever this affair is it is it worth that much um and and, and those are the things, some of the things that you think about, or at least you probably should think about right. um, before you decide to cheat. Of course, a lot of us don't, or a lot of guys don't think about all that stuff. Don't think that far down the line. We just with that um, that immediate feeling right. of pleasure. Um, so, you know, I've heard all types of things, especially when we're talking to, to the young ladies about emotional cheating and physical cheating and what they consider cheating and what some guys may not uh, consider cheating like some women might feel like hey just uh, DMing somebody is cheating while Mm -hmm. another uh, a man might be like just communication Mm -hmm. so what are some of the things that you think women might consider as cheating that a man may not view as cheating just what you just said DMing women have a problem with that uh, inboxing on, on on Facebook, a phone call. Some women have a problem with uh, just a simple telling the guy they may have dated, or like for example, telling a woman that they may have dated, happy birthday. Mm. You know what I'm saying? You dated her 10 years ago, but you still, every year, you still tell her happy birthday. Mm-hmm. You know, women have a problem with that. Why are you still communicating with this woman? Mm-hmm. Like, you guys have been done for over five, six years now. But because you're a gentleman and you dated her for so long, you just, January 4th, come, happy birthday. It's simple, it's innocent, but it's cheating. Mm-hmm. Us, we don't think that's cheating. We don't like it fine. You want to tell your ex boyfriend happy birthday? Right. Go ahead. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm with you now. Like I'm, right. I'm safe. For, I'm safe where I am with, with us. I'm happy with us. So, to tell an ex happy birthday or Merry Christmas or Happy uh, Thanksgiving, we men we don't feel. I don't yeah. think that's cheating. But a woman, they don't like that. They don't. They don't. Some women don't want to see you still communicating with your past and, it, and it's innocent mm-hmm. happy birthday is innocent merry christmas is innocent happy new year's is innocent yeah. but not to women you, know, you just put that january 4th date out you know, <laughs> somebody gonna be checking your calendar i think uh i think for guys typically we view cheating as you know penetration and pretty much it like well you know any other contact is pretty much fair game in a lot of guys head um outside of penetration i think for a woman any other contact i mean it's fair game some guys don't look at it that way they don't okay (laughs) (laughs) i mean i i agree i i don't think that kissing is okay you know but i think anything beyond kissing is, is it cheating i would say yes okay um, I mean, not an innocent church kiss, of course, but I know some, some guys who have been known to have girlfriends who gotten kissed. jealous because, like, you know, leaving church, you kiss the one of the old woman on the cheek, and they're like, oh, "Why are you kissing the woman on the cheek?" And it's like, mm-hmm. that's completely like you're saying, that's a completely innocent act. Yeah, innocent. Um, but some women get upset about that. I think for women, it's typically anything that you don't feel comfortable, like anything I wouldn't do in front of her. A lot of women consider that as cheating. Correct, so correct. if I have to hide it from you, women will consider that cheating. So like I said, it could be an innocent phone call that you saying to yourself, like, dang, man, like, I want to tell her this, but I know if I say this to her, 
we going to go off the deep end. We're going to be arguing. I'm going to be all kind of profane words. So I'm just not going to mention that, you know, this conversation happened. But Mm -hmm. for um, women, they're like, oh, if you can't tell me, then you must be cheating. Like, if you're hiding it, then your 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 intentions aren't pure um so that's where i think a big miscommunication comes in because sometimes you're like i want to tell her but if i tell her it's going to go left and i would rather keep things peaceful and what they say what's the um, so saying um um what you don't know won't hurt you exactly. yeah that's <laughs> so what i saying right there and if you know like it's not going to like the happy birthday thing yeah. if i know texting so and so happy birthday is nothing but if she found out she's going to be mad you're not going to say nothing. So she might say, oh, you're cheating. But in your mind, you're like, not cheating. That's, you know, that's me being innocent, trying to keep things peaceful. So, so Kev, I got a different question for you before mm-hmm. we wrap it up. Got a question that came in in the, the young lady asked. How is it that men can cheat repeatedly on a woman and expect her to forgive and take her back, but once she cheat once, he can't take it? That's ego. Uh, I think, you know, the male ego is very, is, is, is a very fragile thing. So if, you know, um, I don't know about expectations. I think in part of that society, you know, you know, typically, you know, we have seen or we have grown up to see, you know, women being strong and taking people back and, you know, um, opting for the relationship as opposed to just walking off. Um, you know, we don't really have images of that the other way you know like we just don't you know um as a a macho guy or alpha male or whatever you you can't get it through your head that hey she's you know she stepped out on me on me you know you you go back to the selfishness it's on me so I, i i don't know about it's expected but i do think it is definitely more challenging for a male to to know or to to know that they're you know, significant other is has been laying with someone else with while you or or any type of um, I think it's really physical. Mm-hmm. Like I don't think that emotional relationship, emotional cheating is is a real, you know, sticking point with men. Like I think you know, yo, you just leave them alone. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But if you physical, you know, with another guy, it's yeah, not it, 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 it's it's tough to turn back. You know, especially the type of physicality. You know, like if it was, you know. If if you went to to the oral situation, that's 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 nail in the coffin. <laughs> that's nail in the coffin. <laughs> you know, you, if you had a thread, <laughs> that's nail in the coffin. <laughs> so I always think it's that male ego. Like you you won't be you won't be able to look at her the same. You won't be able to you know. Um, and not you won't. It's definitely more challenging for that to happen. And and you know, because it's on me. You know, you all in the, and then internalize it. She did this on me, whereas. It's not really on you, you know. It's the same rules that apply to when you cheated, but in our mind, it just it's on me. And I think that ego won't, you know, make it hard for most men to um to move past that. I think this conversation definitely needs a part two. Yeah. Um, we probably need to do a, a part two and three of this episode, but we're gonna yeah. wrap it up right there. But before we leave, before we wrap it up. Why don't you give the, the people where they can contact you, where they can uh, find your services and all that good stuff. YouTube under MJ Productions. Uh, Facebook is my government name, which is Marquise Jameson. Uh, those are two places you can find me to check out services and uh, email me, text me. I mean, email me, can't text me. Email me if you need some work done. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you can find me on YouTube under my brother, my brother. Um, you can look me up on Facebook by my name, Maurice Rush. I'm the only Maurice Rush <laughs> in America. So if you look me up, you'll find me. Um, and message me, I respond. Um, and or you can look me up on Instagram, Rush to the Lit. That's R U S H Z I L L A. Nice. You know, and um, as the CEO of the Williams family, if you want to see me doing family things, <laughs> you can definitely. <laughs> I'm on Instagram at, at seriously Kev. So. Uh, you know, you see me being a father and a husband. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, that, right. There you go. There you go. What were, what are men thinking? What was he thinking? Um, how was he feeling? What was, what does he do? Um, how does he act? Cheating. Um, we're gonna hopefully this uh discussion 
has has fed you or gave you some information, have enlightened you, uh, even a little bit. Um, I guarantee you there will be a part one or part two and a part three of this episode. Have a good night. Is this how men feel these days? It seems like men no longer try to impress or try to pursue the women that they say that they want. In these days and times of dating and relationships, there are a lot of men that feel like they no longer have to chase women. What do men really feel and think when a woman pursues them? There's the man in the mirror, there's the alpha male, there's the beta male, and is the hunter. I can guarantee you will be pursuing one out of four of those guys. What do men really think when a woman has sex with them too quickly? If a man senses that the feelings are too strong, you're having sex with him too early, or you're pursuing him too tightly, there's something in him that will die. How do I know if a man sees me as wifey material, a man that sees you as wifey material will put you in his plans next week, two weeks, a year down the line. What makes a man ready to settle down? I feel like I'll be doing you a disservice if I don't touch on what stops a man from wanting to settle down. Because what makes a man want to settle down and what stops him kind of goes hand in hand. How can a man spend years with a woman and not commit, but quickly do so with the very next woman that he meets? One reason is that she was not the one. Another reason is that he learned from his loss. And the third reason is that she left before the actual breakthrough. What do guys think and how do they really feel when a woman tells them that they're dating multiple people at a time. A lot of men that have absolutely no problem with a woman that dated multiple people at a time. There were guys that were totally fine with it. They, they were actually used to it and they almost encouraged it. Why is it so hard for men to express their emotions? Focus on your man's love language. Learn, focus on how he expresses his specific emotions, how he expresses his love, how he expresses his concern. Because trying to figure out why all men can't express their emotions or don't express their emotions will only leave you crazy and even more confused. What do guys really think? How do they really feel when a woman chooses to hold out on set? There actually are a lot of guys that are totally respectful of a woman's choice to hold out on having sex. What does a man think when a woman asks him for money or requires or expects him to support her or help her out financially? There was a time in history where women were not allowed to work. You know, they did not have that privilege to, to leave the home and, 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 and go to work so they can assist financially. So, yeah, there's still families that follow that traditional way of thinking or that traditional way of managing money and dealing with money. Ghosting. Why do men ghost? What happens? What goes through their mind? What are they feeling about ghosting? Mm -hmm. Like, we think that the person is going to be perfectly made to fit our every preference. And as okay. soon as they say something crazy, do something crazy, we, we out of there. Like yeah. people don't stick around for nothing no more. Like this whole social media stuff is like, all this stuff like instant gratification. Right. And as soon as we don't feel gratified by something, we don't tolerate it. Yeah. Right. We, we, could, we, could, we could throw you away, mm -hmm. we could uh, delete you or block you or whatever. So that, that, I think it, it comes with social media.